Steve Gamash with a Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product video, and this time we're looking at the uh, Sudahiro Rika 5K or 5000 grit water stone. And uh, this is my personal stone, which I've been using for a while now, and this is a staple in Mark's lineup. He recently got in a, in the Sudahiro Rika lineup, he got in a 3K, a 6K, and an 8K to complement this 5K, but he's had this one for quite a while. Uh, they may have changed the boxes. This particular one came in a silver box. Uh, the, the newer ones are coming white, but anyway. So there's the box that it comes in. Uh, I will say these stones, they have some markings out of the box to tell you what they are, but they rub off really fast. They're very faint right off the bat. So I haven't done it on this one because they don't have any other ones that are similar to this, but I will be uh, putting in some uh, markers on that to say Rika 5K and some Sharpie uh, so I can have some permanent markings on the bottom of the stone or sides or something so you know what it is because it wears off really fast. Anyway, this particular stone, um, I, I very much enjoy using this stone. It has uh, a great feedback and feel to it. It's on the medium to maybe medium soft side. It's definitely not a hard stone at all. Um, it... Some people have commented it has a kind of a clay-like feel to it. Um, it feels a little different, and it feels like it's composed differently uh, than the 3K, 6K, and 8K that I've recently been using, testing out for these videos. So it's got a different feel for me, just a little bit, than those other three stones. And it, it's got a little bit more of a velvet feel to it, and it's got a little softer feel to it. And that's my not super experienced opinion, so I'm not a long-time sharpener, so take that with a heavy grain of salt. But that's just the feel that I've gotten from the stone. Um, it's very smooth. It's like velvet. It, um, it requires a soak. It's not splash and go. So uh, give it a good five-minute or more running water soak till it holds water and doesn't drain too quick. Once you get water to sit on it, it doesn't load up too quickly, in my opinion. If you let it get a little dry, it'll load up on you, but you can always wipe that down or throw a little... Uh, plate on it or something to clean it off and then go again or even just run to running water with your hand it, it wipes off pretty quick but um, if you don't keep it flat it will uh, dish a little bit um, if, if you use it on single bubbles it dishes a fair amount because uh, I've tried that a little bit but it cuts fast it's got great feedback it leaves a nice polished but toothy edge some people say a little under 5k uh, as far as the rating goes of the edges you get out of it. But it produces beautiful edges that you can stand on their own or you can take them to a strop or even go further up a scale. So I think this is a really great stone and uh, it's it's very enjoyable, but a completely different experience than let's say a Shapton Glass or even a Shapton Pro 5K. So it's a different type of stone. So there you have the Sudahiro Rika 5K or 5000 grit water stone.